So if you're thinking about moving to Oregon, you know you're doing that, but you're not moving to Bend, you're not moving to Redmond, but you want to be somewhere else in Central Oregon, and you've decided that Prineville, Oregon is the place for you. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be touching on in today's video. Today's video is all about the pros of living in Prineville. We've talked a little bit about Prineville here and there. It's out in Crook County, okay? a little bit off the beaten path. Uh, we do most of our business in Deschutes County, but the Tri-County area here in Deschutes County, Crook County and Jefferson County that encompass the entire Central Oregon region, we serve all areas of that Tri-County area. And so Prineville is a fantastic little town of 12,000 people just to the east of us, about 30 miles. We're going to be talking about the five pros of living in Prineville, Oregon today. So if this video sounds like it's for you, stick around. We're going to be getting after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Bend or Redmond or Lapine or Sisters or Prineville, then subscribe to the channel, tap the notification bell below so you can be the first to know about the market here in Bend and surrounding sunny Central Oregon. My name's Ryan and I've lived in Bend for over 30 years. My business partner, Zach and I, we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking for help on making their smooth move to Bend or Redmond or somewhere else here in Central Oregon. And we absolutely love what we do. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90, it doesn't matter to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, set up that Zoom. We've got the Zoom link scattered all over our channel here in the homepage banner on every comment section of every video. So just click it set up a time that's convenient for you and then we can set up a time to talk over the computer on the zoom call to get a better feel for where you're at so with all that being said and out of the way let's talk about prineville little town of prineville about twelve thousand people here if you look behind me that's prineville down there it's in crook county the county seat of crook county about 20 25 000 people in the county about 30 miles to the east of bend probably about 15 to 20 miles to the east of redmond and it's a fantastic community. It's up and coming right now. It's kind of uh, under the radar, but it's slowly becoming off of the radar. It's losing its luster as being something that's flying under the radar as there are big corporations now that have put in data centers there within the city limits of Prineville. So that's creating all kinds of jobs. It's also putting the little town on the map. And so it's not just this place that's way to the east of Bend where nobody visited anymore and the residents could feel very comfortable knowing that their little town was going to stay their little town forever. Now, it still might stay relatively small for the, the next few years, but it's growing at a much faster pace than where it was years ago. 12,000 people. Okay. Cute little town. And there's a Facebook data center and they're in a Google data center, maybe Apple, maybe something else. I don't know, but that's what's interesting about it. Plus, Les Schwab headquarters is out there as well. So very interesting uh, little combination of small town vibe, country life off the beaten path. And then you've got these big old data centers there that have taken over and have been installed there just due to the fact that it was the perfect mixture of cost of land and maybe the uh, the local weather and all that stuff. Um, the climate fits what they're looking for for those big data centers. Anyway, I digress. We're talking about the pros of living in Prineville today. We had a tour, a vlog style tour of Prineville that we did a couple months ago that was really popular. You guys watched that thing. And so we want to follow up and just talk about the actual pros of living in Prineville, Oregon, because there are many. We're going to touch on five today. So let's jump right in uh, with number one. Okay, so we've got Prineville. Number one of living in Prineville is going to be the housing affordability, okay? That's something that we definitely want to touch on as we talk about Bend and surrounding Central Oregon in general. Uh, Prineville is a very up-and-coming town, and there are many people moving there, obviously not at the same rate as Redmond and Bend, but it's a very affordable town in comparison to those other two respective towns, the bigger two towns in the Central Oregon region. You see here we've got Deschutes County circled right there. It's right in the middle of the state. If we're to go over just a smidge there, that's what the outline of Crook County looks like. And that's where Prineville is located. As you can see there, it's right in the middle uh, and it's relatively close to Redmond and uh, relatively close to Bend as well. 
housing affordability is certainly going to be on that list for a pro of living in Prineville, Oregon. Right now, the median home price for a home in Prineville, three bed, two bath, single family residence is going to be under $400,000. And if you compare that to say Redmond, we're sitting at about 511,000 in Ben, just under 700,000 as of this recording. So significantly less in terms of getting that type of home, three bed, two bath, 1500 square feet, depending on your location, of course, but that's the median home price right now in Prineville. And, and that gives a lot of value. It provides a lot of value. I, I kind of compare Prineville today, um, to where Redmond was about 30 years ago. I've been here for a long time and I've kind of seen all the small towns within our Central Oregon region kind of take those steps to grow up. And Ben, of course, started, led the way. It was a mill town. It was a blue collar town back in the early 90s and before. And since then, it's grown up. It's received a lot of new character, thanks to a lot of the new residents that ended up moving here. They brought their culture. They brought their vibes with them. And that's starting to trickle into Redmond a little bit right now. We're starting to see that, but there's still a little bit of a difference between Redmond and Ben. But now, Prineville's starting to get a little bit more action as well some people don't like that some people welcome it but Prineville is a fantastic town a lot of charm and there are plenty of things to do within that area you can also do plenty of the recreational activities that we always clout bend with and redmond with they're just a, a short drive away from Prineville but Prineville's also got some things we'll touch on here shortly that um, are actually more accessible than Bend and Redmond. But housing affordability is absolutely number one on this list because uh, under $400,000 for a median home price in Central Oregon is competitive with any other area within the Central Oregon region. Pro number two of living in Prineville, Oregon, okay? The outdoor recreational opportunities are plentiful, okay? We always talk about Central Oregon. Everywhere you go, there's an opportunity for some sort of outdoor recreational opportunity, whether you're in Redmond or Terrebonne or Sisters or Bend or Sun River or Lapine, it doesn't matter. Matter Every little area of Central Oregon has something. And of course, wherever you live, you can also ex access the other places too. You can live in Lapine and, and drive 45 minutes to Smith Rock. It's no big deal, right? That's going to be about the farthest drive that you have to worry about. Or, or if you're in Bend, you have to drive to Lake Billy Chinook even further north than Terrebonne, okay? Another 45 minute to an hour drive. That's no big deal for a lot of city people that are moving from large metropolitan areas and coming to a more uh, accessible area with less of a volume of population. So with Prineville in mind, we have the Ochico National Forest. We have Prineville Reservoir. We have Ochico Reservoir. We've got all kinds of things in the Crook County area that are accessible to Prineville residents just out their back door. And of course you have the entire Central Oregon region. Smith Rock from Prineville is probably about a 30 minute to maybe 45 minute drive at most. It's gonna be closer than Bend is. That's a great accessible outdoor hiking area and just fantastic scenery. But Prineville Reservoir is one of the more popular ski lakes, boat lakes in the area, along with Lake Billy Chinook that's up in Jefferson County the Ochico National Forest, and then of course it's the gateway to Eastern Oregon and those Eastern Oregon Badlands. There's all kinds of things to do out there as well. So Prineville, just like Redmond, just like Ben, just like Sun River, has all of the outdoor amenities and recreational opportunities that all the other areas of Central Oregon has. Okay, if you want to go to Mount Bachelor, you can still see Mount Bachelor from the top of the ridge in Prineville. It's probably going to be about an hour, maybe, maybe be a little over an hour drive but guess what you can get there if you're coming from a big city you're used to commuting into the mountains it takes a little while guess what that's going to be a relatively similar style of a drive and then you get to go home to a very small quiet uh, slow paced life in Prineville so a great uh, great option and a great combo of being able to live in that small, slow paced style of life with great affordability of homes, cost of living is lower than most other areas in Central Oregon, yet you still get all of the outdoor amenities and then some, you get you get quicker access to many of them that otherwise people in Bend or residents in Redmond have to drive a little bit further into Crook County from where they're starting to get to. Because a lot of people will go to Prineville Reservoir from Bend or Redmond, or they'll go to Meadow 
Meadow Lakes Golf Course. Meadow Lakes Golf Course has a fantastic golf course. So they'll go to the Prineville Country Club or they'll go out to the Ochacos and hike up there, do some bike riding, things like that. There's all kinds of things to do locally in Prineville. And one of the other big perks is that they don't get the crowds. The traffic is much lighter uh, in those parks or on those trails or on the lake, that type of thing. So that's something that you can be very proud of and excited about too, is that you get all these outdoor activities, but the crowds and the seas of people that usually go to Bend or Redmond aren't necessarily going to be there. So outdoor amenities with lighter traffic is certainly going to be a pro. And that's number two on today's video. Number three, Pro of living in Prineville, Oregon, or why you should consider it, okay? The sense of community within Prineville is absolutely fantastic, okay? About 12,000 people, probably a few thousand extras trickling in and around the area there. There's probably about 15,000 within the Prineville metropolitan area. There's about 20, 25,000 in Crook County. The people that live here in Prineville, they like the slower pace of lifestyle, and that's what Prineville really is all about. But the sense of community in in Prineville is absolutely fantastic. I've had the privilege of knowing many people, still do, that live in Prineville and they are very proud of their town. A lot of mom and pop style businesses are there that otherwise don't provide service anywhere else in Central Oregon and they are unique. Some of the restaurants there, there's you can only go to Prineville to get those types of offerings, whether it's like at Barney's or there's also uh, Wild Ride Brewing is also located in Redmond, but just recently opened up a location in Prineville. Several other small style mom and pop businesses are absolutely fantastic in the Prineville area. Those buildings right behind me, that's the uh, headquarters, the original headquarters of Les Schwab Tire Centers. That only provide service to Prineville. It's a sense of community. It's very warm and welcoming, and it's a great spot to end up spending a day or even beyond that. If you consider moving there, a lot of people love that. They're considering either Prineville or maybe Redmond or Terrebonne, things like that. Kind of a similar vibe, similar culture, at least some parallels there. But the sense of community in Prineville is absolutely fantastic, and it's a great place to choose to live because of what the sense of community is that is in Prineville. So that's pro number three, the sense of community while you're inside the small town that is Prineville. It's, uh, it's a very good one. Number four, pro number four of living in Prineville, Oregon, the job opportunities are growing at a relatively quick rate right now. We've got those data centers that we touched on right now and they employ hundreds of people. It's a very interesting concept here because before it was the largest employer was gonna be Les Schwab and they since moved their headquarters to Bend, but they were founded in Prineville. And now we've got these data centers here. And what's interesting is when one pops up, another one pops up and maybe another one after that pops up and it creates job opportunities within the Prineville area. It also helps with the growth of the area, but it's also going to, it's going to stimulate the economy in that regard. There's other small style jobs available. A lot of people will end up commuting from Prineville to Redmond for work, or maybe Prineville to Terrebonne. That um, Powell Butte Highway, Prineville to Redmond is a, is a pretty popular route and get um, a lot of traffic on a daily basis. There's people that live in those areas that otherwise try to avoid Bend and that's fine. And so they go from Redmond to Prineville back and forth. Sometimes they'll commute up to Bend for the sake of needing certain services or amenities that the two smaller towns won't offer. But Prineville has a, a growing job sector and there is industry showing up within the area there. And it makes it very attractive, especially for the small town vibe that it is, the sense of community that it is, the outdoor amenities that are nearby, and of course, the affordability. So the first four pros of living in Prineville all kind of feed off of each other and complement one another. But the job opportunities Okay, they may be somewhat small if you zoom out, they are growing and we are getting in Prineville um, a lot of new development right now. And for a small town like Prineville, that's um, it's it's pretty impressive. So the job opportunities are growing within the Prineville area, which is also promoting the growth of the town.
Number five, pro number five of living in Prineville is going to be the small town vibe, the small town charm of Prineville, okay? It is off the beaten path. Central Oregon gets 4 million visitors a year, and the majority of those visitors are going to Bend or Sun River or Redmond. They're not coming to Prineville. So you get the small town vibe, yet you get this charm that goes along with it as well. So it's got a, a good synergy right now, a good level of growth, because there are people in the area that don't live in Prineville, like say in Bend or Redmond, that are aware of Prineville, and they understand the value that Prineville has and the potential for its growth. And the fact that as time goes on, it's probably going to grow at a faster and faster pace. It's a a little bit behind where Bend and Redmond were, say, 20 or 30 years ago, or maybe a little bit more than that. But they are, um, it is coming up and it is beginning to receive a lot of that same attention that Bend got back in the early 90s or late 80s. And then Redmond, of course, in the late 90s and early 2000s. Red Prineville is right there and it is on the verge of probably getting a lot more attention and it's probably going to grow at a faster and faster rate, especially if some of these big companies continue to develop and put in data centers or other types of businesses within the Prineville area. Prineville, again, off the beaten path, fantastic location, a little bit lower of elevation as well compared to Redmond and Bend, probably sitting at like 2,800 feet or something in that range there. So they are going to get some snow but they're going to get significantly less snow, okay? Not cinched up against the mountains, the foothills of the Cascades like Bend and Redmond is, and it's also at a lower elevation. So it's going to get uh, probably a little bit drier climate, probably a little bit more sunshine, a little bit warmer sunshine, and you're going to get less snow in that regard. You're about a 30-minute drive or so to the Redmond Airport, which is our commercial airport within the area. So you're very close to the airport if you need to be there in a uh, relatively short amount of time, probably a similar drive in terms of time from certain parts of Bend to the airport as it is to Prineville. So you are in good proximity to the airport, probably about a three and a half hour drive or so, maybe a little bit more to the Portland area, or if you need to get to the Valley, of course, Bend and Redmond and Central Oregon are all kind of isolated when it comes to uh, travel within the state of Oregon, because there's only one flight service. It basically goes from Redmond to Portland, and that's almost a seasonal style flight. Anyway, that was discontinued for a while. So the point is, is the only way to really get over to the Valley where the three and a half million people of the four million in Oregon live is to drive. And you have to drive over those Cascade Mountains that it's kind of like the barricade but Prineville again most of the amenities that you need if you don't have them in Prineville it's just a short drive away to Redmond or a short drive away to Bend let them take care of all that stuff and you can drive to Bend or, or Redmond on a day when you need to go make that trek into those bigger towns Prineville again out off the beaten path with fantastic amenities in the area the housing affordability is um, as good as any in the Central Oregon area right now with the growth and potential for that to increase over the course of time as more and more people learn and discover about Prineville. I, I, I'm sorry to say to the locals there, but it's becoming discovered and people are starting to fall in love with Prineville and that's just going to be the way it is. It's a testament to you guys who have lived there for a while. Uh, for making it so charming and so appealing. And now other people want to join and bring their ideas and concepts too. So uh, we're going to wrap up the video today. I'm so thankful if you're still watching. Um, this is the Moving to Bend, Oregon YouTube channel. If it's your time to reach out to us, it doesn't matter if it's Prineville or if it's Redmond or if it's Bend or Terrebonne or Lapine or somewhere in the Central Oregon area. Reach out to us, call us, text us, email us, set up that Zoom call. Okay, we're ready to serve. And we know that the market is in a very interesting spot right now. But ultimately speaking, we know that people are still relocating here on an annual basis and that number continues to rise we're going to have a big population boom here again soon once the the market kind of shifts but there are always people visiting and there's a small percentage of them each and every year that after so many visits they decide let's go live where we vacation and that's uh, no exception with the prineville area as well because central oregon Crook County, Deschutes County, we're all one and we're all kind of part of this this high desert ecosystem that is Central Oregon, just to um, just to the east of the Cascade Lakes in the Cascade Mountain Range. So my name's Ryan, EXP Realty. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next video.